This is SPY on the five minute time frame. Here are your price targets for Monday. We ended the day at $585.75, down 1.28%. This is where we are to the north side, takes us back to the middle of the trend and resistance at 586.88. Above that, 592.34 at three standard deviations, roughly 595.18. And finally, at another level of resistance and a potential take profit area, 597.90 to the south side, 581.42, 578.57, 575.85. And looking left, there was a gap. We gapped down, so I anticipate it to, we gapped up rather, and then I anticipate it to fill on the way down, and it did right here that took us down to roughly 591.38 this gapped down so i anticipate it to fill to the upside whenever it does but that will take us to roughly 593.04 and there was a gap here that closed this gap is still in play to the downside taking us to roughly 576.70. And a few other gaps that I have talked about in the past. This one will take us down to 562.19. Again, when I extend all these gaps, I have no idea when it's going to touch. That's why you have to pay attention and just clean up the chart for yourself. And this one touched, well, it looked like it touched right there, but I don't know that it did. No, it did not. It touched right there on November the 4th. And that was in play on October 8th. So this is done. No longer a threat to our account to the south side. All right, but this one is still in play as well as the one that will take us to 559.02. Oops. It's so small, it's hard to grab it at the right spot. Oh, I need to change this to red so I know. That is a gap play I'm tracking. And oh, we've got another one down there, taking us to roughly 519.14. Let's just take this to the daily. It's been a while since I've looked at this one. All right, we are still in an upward channel on the daily. And are these gaps done? Nope. So we have a gap that will take us down to 410.92. But that is not in the channel, not in the zone, not even close. All right, I guess the lowest I've tracked it maybe at 362.84, looks like. All right, back to the five minute. where we will be retracing, but nothing to the upside that I'm tracking except for this one. Then I'll, I'll fix it later. But let's go to the triple Qs. And clean this up. And it's been a very long time since I looked at this one as well. Change that to 557, 496.57 down 2.38%. So we have a gap. We gap down. I anticipate it to fill on the way up, taking us to 508.29. Still going down though on the five minute time frame. This gap touched to the downside at roughly 505. So that one is no longer in play. We went down even more. Now we're just grinding sideways. This gap will take us down to roughly 
492.45. And this one will take us down to 486.44. This gap closed already to the upside at roughly 495.93. This gap closed right here. Okay, because it gapped down, that took us down to 492.71. And what about this one? This gap closed to the downside on the 28th, it looks like. Oh, it opened and then closed the same day. And then this one closed to the downside at roughly 488.52. This one closed to the upside at roughly 495.90. I've got to go through and clean all of this up because as you can see, all of these gaps did what I thought it was going to do and it closed. And this dangling one will take us down to 472.05 should we retrace and it looks like we are and then this oops will take us down to 407.59 that is going to bleed us out oh and then all of these gaps too i really should be updating these much more often but Flip it over to the 15 so you can e easily see it and drag it out. Just go to the next time frame. Okay. All right, that's gonna be it for the triple Qs. And now I wanna do DJT. What's going on on the, oh, that's the 15. Let's go to the five. And we're going down on the 15 as well as the five. All right, we're at 28.10, up 4%. Your target's here, 28.77, 29.60, and roughly 30.48. The middle of the trend for this week will be 26.96. 2530, 2446, 2361. And then we've got a gap here to the upside. That will take us to 3336. And then also this one. Don't hold your breath right now though. We are in a downward channel still, 35.88. And then 50.88 at the top there, near the top. And then we've got this gap to the south side. When you play gaps, they just stick out at you. You cannot unsee them. That go went up, so then I anticipate it to fill to the downside. And then we've got that one as well, taking us down to 1651. Oh, and then that one, oh Lordy, 1008. Did we touch? No. So that one could touch maybe on Monday. We could flush down, possibly since we are still in a downward channel, that is within the realm. Let me just mark that out. All right. That is a look at SPY, the triple Qs, and DJT. Thank the Lord we have been unburdened by what has been. If there is a ticker that you want me to go over, please let me know. Have a great trading week.